Okay, there we go. <laughs> How's everyone doing? My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and welcome to uh, Wednesday afternoon live. Let me uh, get my screen going here. Almost. Hmm. Okay, it should be coming up. There it goes. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's get that squared up here. All right. Uh, it might be, there might be a little bit of a lag, but I've changed some settings. So uh, let's, uh, I hope that doesn't affect it. Hopefully putting up a little higher quality video. But uh, nonetheless, um, while we wait and have that uh, make its adjustments, like I said, my name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Wednesday afternoon live. Uh, we always get together on Wednesday afternoons and focus on portrait drawing, and I'm glad that you're here. So uh, if you do get a chance, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Always doing great stuff, posting new videos often, and I'm really glad that you're here. If you're looking for a little bit of a community, join our Facebook group link is down in this description and a little bit later i'm going to talk about the daily draw but right now let's get right into our picture okay so uh, when it comes to portrait drawing uh and we're gonna i'm just gonna make sure that uh when it comes to portrait drawing we always want to understand the basics and when i say the basics what i mean is you need to understand your basic head construction and let's let's go over that before we get started and on your paper what I want you to start to draw is uh, let's get in uh, three different spheres going here well, let's see uh, ba -ba -ba. Tamara hello Tamara how are you and Lynn is here and Sharon, I just want to call everyone out who's here, Kevin and John. Wow, we've got a great, a very big group today. This is excellent. Uh, Sandy and Elena and Aquamarine Dragon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so in, in, your, in your picture here that's in front of you, I've got three different spheres. So usually when I approach the, the head, First thing is I'm looking for really is trying to determine the 2D axis, 3D axis, and the tilt, tilt of the tilt of the head, and then of course the face placement. So let's look at this first one. Let's call this one A and B and C. Okay. This was really the method that, uh, if you've heard of the artist, his name is Andrew Loomis. This is a process that he really um, uh, he really emphasized as, as going step by step through this. Uh, so on A, let's, let's say that A is slightly 2D axis, slightly tilting to the right, okay? And then B is going to be slightly to the left. All right, that's the 2D axis there. And then C will go straight down the center, okay? That's the 2D axis. We're determining if the heads are leaning to the right or to the left. All right, 3D. Is the head coming forward or is the head going back? All right. So in this case, in A, let's just say that A was, was heading backwards. And I'm going to make like a, a little cone to show that it's falling back, okay? In B, let's say this is coming towards us a little bit. And you can see I've, I've placed the cone uh, so it is... Uh, coming towards us versus going away. 
And then C will make C also slightly going back. Right, so that's our 3D axis. Now our face. Let's get our face placement. So in A, let's get a, this is, ends up being the brow line, okay? This is the brow line. It goes right through the brow. B, since this head is coming towards us, we're going to draw it like this. And C, since this is going straight we're looking straight at it, our line's gonna go straight down the crossways, very horizontal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get to A here. All right, next thing. So that's our brow line. Let's 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 get our uh, our face placement, all right. Where where is the center line? So let's see and let's see an A here. Let's say the center line is is right there. Okay. In B, let's say your center your center line is going to be right there. And then in C, our center line. This person is going to be looking straight at us there. Okay. So these are the three steps, 2D, 3D, and face placement. And, you know, I have to correct myself. <laughs> was, sometimes when you teach, you start just talking, and you know what you want to say, but you're thinking something totally different, and it comes out wrong. This method of the 2D, 3D face was actually from the first man who really showed me how to draw. That was Carl Noss. So I just want to clarify that. <laughs> Not that he had ever watched my videos. But I wanted to give who credit is due. So anyways, back to A here. Okay, now, now from here on out, this is mine. <laughs> Find the temples. The temples are right here on either side of the eyebrows, okay? So we're going to have one temple there. And because this is a three-quarter view, the other temple is going to be about there. All right? Just like this. Look, if I, if I was a three-quarter view from you... You see how like the, the center line of my face, this temple is pretty close to it. Whereas this one is much further away. You see the difference? All right, B. All right, that temple is going to be here. And this other one's going to be a little further away. And then jump down to C. There's one temple and there's another temple. Okay. They're, e they're exactly equal because uh, this is a center, a center shot, all right? All right, let me get my skull over here for you. Okay, so here's the skull. Look at this side view. It's, it's very round, all right? Straight view, the head gets very flat, okay, along the side. So we have to remember this. We have to remember this idea. So right, right here at this temple, okay, we're going to flatten the side of the skull. All right, so this is, this is the side of the skull there. And then over here, it's going to be flat on this side as well. Over here on B, it's going to be flat over here. And right here, it's, we're going to cut off the edge there so it's flat. And then over here on C, it's also going to be flat. So in this case, I'm just going to erase this so this doesn't really confuse us there. So what we have here is the, uh, the, this is called the T of the face. T of the face. All right, let's come over here now. And uh, this is going to be your center line coming over here. 
this right there is your brow line okay from your hairline to your from your hairline to your brow line or the gabella right in the middle you take this distance and that usually will measure from there to the bottom of the nose so we can we can kind of estimate the bottom of the nose is going to be about there and then you do one more half so that's one two three this is about the bottom of the chin all right jumping over to b let's just say that the hairline was there all right so we double that to the bottom of the nose and then bottom of the chin in thirds is what we're looking for up here hairline gabella or the middle of the nose um, um, between the eyes eye line bottom of the nose and then bottom of the chin all right now coming back to a we're going to drop down just just a little bit and then we're going to curve around this gives us the jawline jawline on that side same thing over here we're gonna drop down just a little bit see how this kind of drops down a little bit right there and then we curve it around bottom of the nose right about there curve this around is going to come around like this this is your basic head structure that you want to be able to draw from any angle next we have the visor of the eyes what time is it how are we doing time we're good okay visor of the eyes from the brow line that goes back to the eye socket And this is where your eye line is going to line up, right in there. Then we get down here in this lower plane region that goes right up to your cheekbones, okay? Cheekbones are in here. So this would go something like this. You can remember the cheekbones go here because this is the bottom of the nose, cheekbones, bottom of the ear, back of skull. Those, those four will line up. Bottom of the nose, cheekbone, bottom of the ear, back of skull. And when I say the back of skull, usually this means that this is where the neck, this is where the neck's going to attach into the back of the head. And look, you can see it on mine. If I go like this, you could see back and neck, underneath, underneath the uh, cheekbone, bottom of the nose. You see that? Okay, so this guy's coming down like this. All right, so then the nose, the nose is going to fall in this area here, and it's going to lay, it's going to lay right on that plane, just like that. You really want to focus of, of thinking of the construction when you draw people okay that's focus on the construction and the lightness will take place on its own what I just drew there was the curve the the ball of the mouth and you can see that right here look at this here's here's the ball of the mouth you see the jaw is is very round All 
right? Let's get the ears in, okay? The ear, it's like I said before, bottom of the ear lines up with, with the cheekbone, all right? And it's going to come up here in this area. And you could almost draw almost like a, a bit of a question mark or a, a C shape. And then over here, we can draw a C shape. Top of it usually will line up with the brow line. There it is right there, lining up with the brow line. Okay, last couple measurements here, then we'll get started. On the uh, the curve of the mouth here, of course, you're the corners of the mouth will line up with the ball of the mouth. The corners of the mouth, and so they're gonna they're gonna be like this. And now this isn't with everybody, but generally speaking, the corners the corners of the mouth will line up with the pupils of the eye. So. You might have something like this. Corners of the mouth, pupils of the eye. And of course, the last thing <clears throat> is the, the wings of the nose oftentimes will line up with the corner or the tear ducts of the eye, the tear ducts there. All right, so the wings of the nose, all right, tear ducts, you can't see that one. And there you go. That's that's your basic, that is your basic head structure. Okay. Now, if you're liking this, if you're enjoying this video, please, like I said, like and subscribe. But if you really want to up your game, I would recommend that you join us uh, for the daily draw. What is the daily draw? The daily draw is a monthly membership I have. It's nine ninety eight a month. The, um, in fact, I think I could show you, let me see if this will, yeah, here, there it is right there. That's the, that's the daily draw. Uh, it's $9.98 a month and, uh, and we meet five days a week, Monday through Friday for about 30 minutes. And we go over, uh, on Monday, we always look at something that is natural. Tuesday, we look at something man-made. Wednesdays, we look at portraiture in detail. Today, we're going to look closely at drawing eyes. Thursday, we look at character design. And Friday is always animals. So for uh, 10 bucks a month, that equals just over 20 hours of instruction, live instruction with me. And if you really want to up your game, I would recommend that you join it for three months. Eh, 30 bucks. Three months with me. And I really can help you and uh, give you a lot of personal attention and set you uh, set you up for success. Anyways, I just wanted to hit that up. Uh, it is in the, uh, you're going to find that down in the description below. It's the daily draw. All right, let's keep going now. So first thing I want to do on this gentleman's head is let's get this sphere down, okay? Okay, so that's where we're going to start, just like we started a second ago, okay? Okay, now let's let's use the let's use our reference. Let's use uh, something in our reference uh, to get something fixed here. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here is let's change the color here. Okay. Look at the side of his face. Look, look at this. 
the side of the face is almost a straight line. Do you see that? Okay, that's caused by the flatness of the skull. But look, look, it's almost vertical, and we could use the side of our paper to test how vertical that is, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add this straight line right away into our drawing and keep it light, keep it light. Okay, now let's take a look at the 2D, 3D and face placement here. So. 2D axis from where we're standing, it looks like he's tilted just a little bit. So the tilt of his head is, is going to be slightly like this, I believe. It's like the tilt of his head is like this right here. So with that being said, now look at this now here's let's get this uh we're looking up at him so the 3d axis is we his his head is tilted back just slightly right so look at this brow line coming down here you see that let's get that in place All right, let's get the brow line now. Look at this. Here's the brow line. Let's get our brow line. I'm sorry. Let's get our center line. There's our center line right there. You see that? Let's put that in place. That's going to be our face placement. I'm going to erase some of this here. All right, so there's there's one temple there. There's the other temple, and that's our center line. All right, so let's get our temples in place now. So let's see. I'm going to be right about there. There's one temple. There's my there's the center of his head there. And now look how far back this guy is. This guy is much further back. You see that? All right, then we now we can get the side of his head in. All right, let's establish where the bottom of his nose is. Okay, so there's the bottom of his nose and there is his chin. And that's the, uh, look, at the look at these, these are almost equal. Gabella, bottom of the nose, bottom of the chin. You see that? Equal distances. Gabella, bottom of the nose, and bottom of the chin. Construction gives way to lightness. All right, let's go ahead and put the visor in, okay? Look at this. This little edge comes down. You see that right there? It's it's right here, all right? And then this side, this side's going to be right about there. Then we're going to come down like this. And 
Every face is going to be a little bit different. All right, let's get this angle back here of the this forehead area, right? Get this chin in so we know kind of where we're where we're aiming with our chin. And then this is gonna be our eye line. All right, let's get this nose in. Now, before I draw the nose, I'm really kind of, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this negative shape right here. You see this? This, this is gonna help me, this shape right here is gonna help me determine how far the nose is from the side of his head, you see? So let's see here. Let's see if we can really kind of match that shape here. And then the bottom of his nose has that real round, it has a real round ball to it. It's gonna bring us right into the wing. All right, there's the ball. There's the ball of his mouth. Now look at this now. It goes from this right there all the way over to here. You see that? It's gonna go right below his nose and then right here at the edge of its, in his case, it's a little bit more wider. All right, so let's get that in as well. Okay, chin. And then you can see that the, uh, uh, this part of his neck, you see this? He's an older gentleman. And you can see it's, it's coming, coming down like this. We'll clean that up in just a second here. All right, let's jump over here and place his ear. Okay, well, let's get his ear and then we can uh, work and get his, uh, get his eyes in place. So here's the top of his ear. And if we draw a horizontal line, that's gonna kind of give us an idea where the top of the ear is gonna fall. And now, of course, if, if we were drawing this live, or if I wasn't teaching, I would be doing these measurements in my head. And if you, if you wanted to, you could even kind of raise your pencil and use your, your pencil as a, measuring, as a measuring unit. Okay, so where are we at here? All right, top of the ear is going to be about there. Bottom of the ear is going to be somewhere in here. So now we can just kind of go around the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. OK, 
Okay, there's the back of the there's the back of the neck. And then you can see, let's draw, I'm gonna draw the round part of his t-shirt here. Okay, so his t-shirt's coming around here. It's kind of going wide. And then where is his shoulder? Where is his shoulder coming in here? Look, his shoulder on this side hits him right in the square, hits him right in the chin there. All right, so we could just kind of put that in place. So I want to show you something really quickly is let's get into, uh, I'll tell you, let's do his eyes first and then I'll show you something in the nose that I see. Okay, so when we're drawing eyes, uh, let's stick to the eye line here and let's just kind of follow the edge. Look at, there's a nice angle here and then it comes around just like that, you see? And then if you remember, here's the wing of the nose. Look at that. Vertically, it lines up with the tear duct of that eye right there. Okay, let's go ahead and drop in these pupils. It's pretty dark in there, but we could just kind of put them in place here. And then of course this one. Okay, now it's easy. Now we can just kind of quickly lay in, lay in that eyebrow. And now this is interesting. Look at the range. Look at the, look at this eyebrow here. This this eyebrow. There, there is. This is the front of the eye. You see that? And then that eyebrow extends. Look how far it extends on either side of that. So let's see. There is the center point there. Also notice this, notice this is the, look, it's almost exactly level with that other one. Okay, that, that really helps. So I'm gonna come over here. Okay, there we go. I may have made mine just a little too long, so, oops. We get erased a little bit in the middle there. All right, there you go. Okay. Here's, now let's jump into the nose here. This is something I want to show you on the nose. Let me get a color. This is a great example of a core shadow going on in the nose. Look at this right here. It's a little bit darker there. You see that? 
versus right underneath the bottom of the nose, it's a little bit lighter. Let me erase that now for you to see that. And this really plays into the idea of it having round. You see that? You see how it's a little bit lighter underneath? So let's do that. Let's add that to our nose here. So I'm just going to add a little tone underneath my nose. And then right in here, I'm just going to... It's subtle, but it really makes a big difference. I'm just going to darken in the edge a little bit. Okay, let's go to let's get down to this mouth now. There's the center line for the mouth. And I'm going to draw the the center part of his lip first. And it's going to be not the top, just it's going to be something like this. And then that side and then this is going to stretch all the way all the way down over here. Let's get this mustache in. So think of this as think of this as you were rolling rolling out of clay and actually making it with volume and mass. So we're gonna come in here like this. Now here we go. I'm going to use surface lines here. And then I'm going to add a little tone on the right side here because this is all in shadow. Okay, underneath. get these handlebars. Oop, that was too big of a handlebar. Handlebars here. All right, now we can get the bottom of his chin going here, right? And we can add a tone there as well. In fact, this would be a good time just to add an overall tone to his face, except the tip of his nose and his chin, because just come in here lightly across your whole drawing here. Okay. All right, let's get his ear in place. 
get the mechanics of his ear. So first thing we're going to do is this C shape. We did ears, I believe, last week in the daily draw. Y, the Y of the ear. Okay, let's get this hat on his head. And whenever we draw hats, we always ignore the brim. We only look at the cap part, okay? So this, this cap, let's see now, it's coming down like this. Don't worry about the brim, just get the cap. This guy remind looks like the <clears throat> someone from a Turkish bazaar or something, right? <laughs> okay. We got the cap of the cap of his hat in. I'm gonna add just a little bit of tone back here. Let's... All right, let's get this hair in now. Where's this hair? We're gonna come in and get that brim in just a second. There's the seam of his hat going down the surface. The one brim starts right there. And let's put some marks on our page so we we'll know where we're going. It's going to kind of curve right above the eyebrow there. It's going to peek out over here. And come back in the head there. So I'm just going to kind of follow this now. So here we go. And then I could get the top part. There's a little refinement that needs to go on, but this this area is pretty dark under here. And now I could continue the tone underneath on his on his skin here. Oh, you're okay, Missy. I'm sorry. It's all right that you're late. Yeah, you can watch the recording as soon as this is done. All right, there's a little more. Let's get some shadow in on his face here. So let's just kind of quickly drop down some, some tones that we see. This little inner area of the eye, this is always darker value. All right. 
stripe, some tone underneath his neck and chin here slightly, right? And then, of course, his hair has dark value. We could even drop in some tone into his ear here. All right, I'm just going through here and making some uh, small adjustments. Yours will probably also need some little adjustments you can make. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I think that's going to do it for today. I, I hope that was helpful. Uh, my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Let's get a little logo, a little logo up here maybe, right? And I am grateful. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, go out there, make your day great.